What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we got another quick one today. This is a cool trick that I learned early on in my career that has proved invaluably useful a million times over, honestly. So I'm going to teach it to you guys right now. So maybe you can use it all the time like I do. So we're going to talk about how to get audio from anywhere on the internet, anywhere on your computer and record it into your DAW of choice. And we're going to do this with a really cool program called Black Hole. And uh, Black Hole is free. It's uh, super duper cool and free. And so is Soundflower, which uh, this is kind of based on. Black Hole is the spiritual successor to Soundflower. And it works on M1 Max and all that stuff. So that is pretty great. Now this particular workflow is Mac specific but I have been told that Windows have this functionality built in. And another thing to note is that a lot of audio interfaces have this functionality built into them now, like the Motu Ultralight. Uh, Mark V has a USB loopback. And um, yeah, so what Black Hole is, is a virtual audio interface. And I know that sounds kind of weird, like what's a virtual audio interface? Well, what it is, is exactly what it sounds like. It's an audio interface that exists only in virtual reality. So go and install Black Hole on your computer and then when you go up to your sound options you will see that it is a option here. So let's select Black Hole Audio and now what you'll notice is if we play something like our cool GameCube uh, intro here do, 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 and it's going to sound like this. We're not going to hear it uh, anywhere um, because it's being routed to Black Hole, right? And Black Hole is just not putting that audio anywhere that it needs to go. So let's take a look. How can we monitor this, right? Well, I'll open up a DAW. Any DAW will work. Uh, we're going to use Ableton here, and we're going to open our audio preferences, right? And we're going to set the input as black hole audio. And we can set the output here to any which thing we want. Let's just set it to my ultralight so that we can hear it. And now we will see, um, we're gonna monitor on channel one, two, that's gonna be our stereo thing right here. So now if we go back here and we play this, you'll see our little monitor guys here are lighting up, right? And if we monitor in, we can hear our GameCube sound. Right? Okay, so that's awesome. And we see it right here in Ableton. Let's get rid of some of this clutter here. You don't need to see any of this. Boop, boop. Let's make this nice and big. Get rid of this. Okay, so now we're just looking at our audio, right? And uh, now that we've got this in here, we can record whatever we want, you know? So let's just hit record arm that bad boy, hit record, and then let's hit play, and then... Cool, all right, and here it is. Now we can, let's pause this, we can take this back and trim this up here. Oh, we gotta turn our monitor to audio. All right, so. All right, so now we got that sound in there and we could do anything we want with it. It's super cool. You can do this anywhere. You could do it on Netflix. You could do it on Hulu. You could do it any which where you pl you please, right? Um, and Black Hole is a virtual audio interface. So it allows you to do a whole lot more than just steal audio off the internet. If you're trying to do things in OBS, you could route multiple input sources all to black hole and then have OBS monitor it. Um, you know, if you've got any sort of like weird discord functions, you know, that you want a bunch of different, you know, it's great. Virtual audio interface, black hole. It's freaking awesome. Very cool. We love it. Um, if you are not impressed and you're like, well, I don't, what am I going to do with this audio Then you know, I just record now. Um, here, let's do something real fun with this. Let's just make this and uh, let's just real quick. Uh, let's just uh, slice to new MIDI track. Boop, boop, doop, 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 built in. Na, 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 na. And now we've got, you know, so here we go. All right. 
So thanks everybody for watching. I really hope that this little trick here. <clears throat> All right. Oh, all right, so, you know, <laughs> getting a little stupid there, but I hope you guys can see that this is a very cool tool and a very cool functional workflow that can allow you to just pull in audio from anywhere you like, any sound that you find inspiring, and then just, you know, use your DAW of choice to just cut it up and, you know, create something entirely new and wonderful. Um, also, the utilities of this, uh, they will consistently find a use in your workflow i am sure or come in clutch when you need it so you know pack this one in your little uh, bat belt there and uh, keep it safe and make sure you can whip it out whenever you need uh <laughs> that being said thanks for watching everybody and uh, we will catch you next time make sure to check out the discord if you want more silly stupid functional things like this and uh yeah check out the links down there they help the channel and by that i mean if you click on them and buy stuff i can buy more dog food and people food uh for both my dog and my people so um yeah have a nice one bye